really, really good. It can't, it, you mm. normally people want to do spot dodge to avoid grabs. You can't spot dodge Pac-Man's grab. Yo, I no. just saw a sub. Who was that? B sharp. B sharp. Oh, yo, yo B sharp. Thanks for that sub, man. Shout outs to B sharp, man. How you doing? So now we're gonna move on to winners finals. Sinji staying in the hot seat, fighting against Utopian Ray. Now, both these players have won a Xeno in the past, so they're both contenders for getting into grand finals. But I feel like if you had to ask me right now, gun to my head, who's gonna win this set? I'd be like, why do you have a gun? And then I'd be, and then I'd be like, Utopian Ray. Um, yo. What's all this anger coming from? We yeah. haven't even... Have we played a set? Do I know you? Honestly. No. It, but no, Ray is probably the one I would probably uh, put, put my uh, bets on. Mm -hmm. Just by the way he's been playing today. I feel like he's been pretty on point so far. And uh, I mean, I would not be shocked if Sinji manages to take it Ooh. away from him. But right, right now, he's doing a phenomenal job. Not letting Sinji touch the stage whatsoever. Just keeping him airborne. Absolutely. And see, there's little things about this matchup that do put it uh, a bit more in Palutena's favor. Up there, it seems... Beats out uh, Hydrant pretty consistently. Like, you can challenge with that, which is not something a lot of characters have the privilege to do. Um, Palutena has that movement speed to get in and pressure Sinji if Rei so chooses, but Rei is also very adept at playing the mid range and waiting. Yes. Which is something that Sinji or any zoner does not want to have to deal with. All right. Facing out without a reticle, taking his time. He's got a lead, he doesn't need to go anywhere. Chilling back again, throwing out the melon. Instead, I respect it. Option to go with the uh, neutral air while holding onto that melon. Absolutely. Very good call from Sinji there to get away from pressure, but Ray, recognizing it, actually jumps early out of shield to get away from the upbeat. One thing that uh, Sinji's been doing is he's been respecting the amount of range that Palutena has whenever he's at that distance. Oh, as I say that, throws out the bell and gets punished for it. Not gonna let him get recovered. Hold on. Yep. We got tons of explosive flames. And depending on how he flicks that stick, the explosive flame can go in different directions, whether it's like a smash attack or so it goes super far, or just a tilt, so it just goes uh Okay, going down stage with the Nair does get interrupted by the trampoline. That's a very good call for the drag down there, especially at this percent where it will probably kill or stage spike. Both of which are very hard to deal with. Good empty hop into grab, sending him off stage again once in eight percent. You know, Sinji was definitely expecting that back air since it's super safe on shield. Oh, he had the right read there, but doesn't quite get it. Does a pivot or a uh, turnaround grab? I it's think. It, like honestly, Ray's been in control, but the one thing he did, can't seem to do is solidify this first kill. He's already got him at almost 180 and no kill in sight. Absolutely. Meanwhile, Sinji's been closing that gap with the percentage, just making him one apple away. Getting the kill or a bell. All right. Very good parry there. That is a strong response. Yo! Able to we catch the up air. Up air. I mean, when you're... Okay. <laughs> Pac-Man's at maximum rage. Utopian Ray was at like 160%. They were kind of high in the air. Kill him off the top pretty easy. Very true. All right. So now, Sinji is dead. <laughs> yeah, he got caught by the grab. And he's gone. Yep. I, I was going to say, Sinji uh, somehow brought this back to where he is now uh, even again with Ray after Ray with a very strong uh, out the gate start, but definitely in neither player's super strong favor yet. We've got to see it play out just a little bit more. He got that peach as well. Playing the fruit. Up air, see, beats it out clean there, even yeah. when it lands. Got that destroyed hitbox, man. It can, it can work out. Mm -hmm. All right. Gotta Since watch out waiting, for these cherries. Out some low fruit. Cherries he's and sort of, strawberries, man. He's testing the uh, aggression here a little bit. He got in his face, which you don't see too often from Sinji. Normally, he's pretty content to play back and do setups, but it seems like he's not feeling super comfortable. Takes the jump. Yeah, very oh. hard to air dodge through Explosive Flame. And Ray's going to capitalize on this. No jumps. Had to go for the side B immediately to get back onto that stage. Safe and sound just to recover his resources. And now he has stage control a bit. And you're saying that Sinji was playing aggressive, and I think the reason for that is because of the Explosive Flame, honestly. Mm. Anytime Sinji wants to back off and use Bonus Fruit and try to get ready to throw some items, there is an Explosive Flame at the ready. You see Utopian Ray just spamming it constantly because it's an effective tool as someone that wants to chill back. Absolutely, and one thing about Pac-Man is because he's so set up heavy, even though one could call him a zoner, he doesn't have particularly quick zoning tools. All of his uh, low bonus fruit are pretty short range, pretty slow. Uh, Hydrant isn't going to go anywhere unless he hits it a couple times, so Explosive Flame very fast and very able to pressure it from full screen. Oh! It's the apple again, 152%. Give him the fruit. Yeah, the doctor is in. My man was throwing him at the wall, shield like it was a wall. My man was playing table tennis with himself. <laughs> okay, uh, two stocks to one. Ray Yo. trying to get that spike. And Sinji's Yo, good Chill answer. Out, guys. Sinji has the trampoline <laughs> at the ready after Ray got that spike. Sends him off stage again with the neutral air. Catches him with the explosive flame. Yeah, Still that'll do it. Yeah, that, he is done for. Mm -hmm. 
Yo, they have gotten so aggressive off the stage there. I was thinking, man, one of them's going to just take that stage control, but nah. And they were out for blood. Honestly, it's so weird that they're playing so aggressive because this is a seven minute match and five minutes have already passed. Absolutely. And they're on their final stocks. Could this potentially go to time? All right. Now we can turn into the up air. If we're going to keep connecting these up airs, I mean, maybe. Fair. All right. Charging it. Very hard read right there. Reactable get up attack on that from Sinji. Very good that he kept his cool there. Especially now the time's coming down. I feel like he's had enough experience running out the clock that he knows time is coming short. Great, fantastic tech coming from Ray. Able to get back on that stage. Sending out the troops. And the reflex awesome finally right coming in. Gets the punish with his quickest burst option, a dash attack. Because okay. he knows if you try to go for a dash guy, might not have caught him. Ooh, that was off by only a few. The thing is, that was a fantastic like fadeaway from Sinji. He recognized that Ray wanted to go for the uh, spike. Mm -hmm. All right. Actually goes for the Galaga out of shield there, which could have been a little risky. That's still a quick option, but not as fast as something like Nair or Fair. All right. Playing over. Ray doesn't want to give him too much space. Is that it? Oh my god. Catches the up air. Ray stealing away game number one. Every single stock. Sinji got it first until the final one that mattered. That was pretty good. It was weird seeing them go uh, aggressive there. Even though while the timer was ticking short, it wasn't necessarily um, life or death. Hey, let's get it going. Come on, come on, come on. The game's going to be over. Um, and I feel like part of that is that Ray wants to sort of shake um, how Sinji plays a little bit. Because if he zones out with Palutena, Ray's got to, or not Ray, uh, Sinji's got to be like, okay, I got to try to put some pressure. I got to send the Hydrant his way predictably, this, that, and the third. And then Palutena's on top of him with Nair, with other things, and he just doesn't have the time to set up. He's got to choose one or the other. He doesn't really have the option to cover both an aggression and de uh, defensive <laughs> play style. Yes. Yes. No, I agree 100%. And we're going straight back to Battlefield. I mean, this is a pretty good stage for both characters, so I understand why they want to do it. Sinji opting to go uh, for the run back. Yep. All right, keeping him up with the explosive flame there. Bear actually punishes the bear out of shield. I don't see many characters that are able to punish that. Manage to find. If there's a will, there's a way, man. Absolutely. All right, so fades away through the platform, doesn't quite get a punish, and is back off stage. All right, Sinji eating a fat amount of percent here 93 within the first minute. Another back air explosive. sends him in. The combo's into the explosive flame. Sinji had to go for a double jump, but again, explosive flame are a really good tool for exhausting that resource. You'll notice Ray goes for it a lot. Yep. Down and throw. All right. Doesn't get the follow up in the instant reverse aerial. Sinji getting back to stage. All right. That is a very good meteor on the ledge right there. Very non committal as well, which is a big theme with Palutena and her ledge pressure. Oh. Nice catch. Very difficult to space out, I feel, when you're off the stage with explosive flame like that. Oh, yeah. All right. Gets a little bit of train, goes for the juggle. Does get the punish after the air dodge. All right, Sinji's not having it. He's not going to get slapped around. He's in winner's finals right now. He didn't get here for nothing. All right, gets full charge of Bell. Charge up smash doesn't quite kill, but a great amount of percent. Right. Crystal's got that dream going on. Try to go for the down throw. Sinji's going to DI and air dodge away to fall, get rid of any sort of follow up that Ray wants to do against him. Very good, although that does give up a lot of stage control, and if Ray wants, gives him the option to go for an edge guard, which Palutena does have quite a few options in her disposal to do that. Uh, Pac-Man no slouch, though. Armor on side B, up B very quick. So I'm going for that counter. Sinji's going to be like, okay, man, here's a grab. <laughs> on my way. Yeah, sure thing, man. That's a nice pose you got. Yeah, done. All right. Okay, now we got Sinji sitting at 101. Mm -hmm. He's trying to chuck the house keys at her. Yep. No deal. I'm no maid. Did not oh, work. explosive flame. Pulls himself off at the water, but it doesn't help. Sitting at 121. I mean, honestly, you use the fire hydrant for the fire. It makes sense. Back throw. Going to be able to live. Great DI from Sinji. Opting to go for the that double jump to escape death. That was not a great air dodge. Didn't get punished by Ray. But, you know, pac has got a pretty strong side B to get the recovery back on stage. He does. He does. I was afraid that Ray was going to come right off of that, but he was waiting him out. He was expecting, I think, a retreat there. Takes the trade, and that trade is definitely in uh, Ray's favor. Absolutely. Um, looking pretty strongly in his favor here on game two. All right. Already stacking up more percent. They're out of shield, but now Sinji really has to put the pressure on, and difficult to do against Palutena, especially when she decides to commit a little bit back. And Ray seems like he's going to do just that right now. Oh, 
And all of that shield. I mean, the thing is, I think Ray is the one that sent that, so that's why it wasn't like an active hitbox towards himself. No, no, but why Why that way? I don't think <laughs> oh, that's Oh, you how. know. <laughs> Explosive Flame was on the right side of the hydrant. Oh, yeah, yeah. that's a fair point. That's mm -hmm. fair. I'm not used to seeing it. Oh, barely oh. avoids the bell. That was scary for Ray. Now he's going to capitalize with these aerials. All right. Actually waits out. That was really smart right there. Hydrant falling on the platform, waits it out, and doesn't throw out the up air because that would have killed his um, potential to juggle Sinji right there. It would have held him in place. All right, Explosive Flame. Not letting him land for free. Trying to throw that the second one. Oh, my God. <laughs> All the flames coming out. He keeps sitting on it. Back right. throw? I mean, hmm. DI might have been a little suspect there. That looked yeah. kind of low angle, but still 103 to nothing. He didn't need this stock. Yeah. We don't need those. I've only needed one. I've been giving you these. But the, the problem is that Sinji's really good at racking up that damage, especially with these Galaxian ship combos, one of the highest damaging combos that he has in his repertoire. Notice how that felt like an incomplete combo, but that still did 30%. Yeah. Things like that. It was supposed to do 60. Yeah. All right. Nair down. Very difficult to punish on that. All right. That is the forward air. Uh, he does not commit. He does threaten the edge guard. OK, Pivot very good read. Grab. Again, yeah, he has to use his double jump. DI is a way to keep his air dodge, to avoid the explosive flame, and saves his life. Mm -hmm. Now, see, this is what I was worried about, is that Ray was trying to go for those hard reads before, but Pac-Man's side B has that generous armor that let him get backstage there, and Ray does give up stage control for it, which may spell trouble. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Ray's off stage. Is he just trying to play aggressive? No, no way. No. Using explosive no. flame at disadvantage gets the kill, and Utopian Ray is going to be moving on to grand <laughs> finals. Here at Zeno 151, off of a, a, just a Hail Mary explosive flame. Look, he can't let this man breathe. The, I, the I, fade I, away. The thing is, it's a pretty <laughs> strong option for Palutena. You know, if, if you're just going to sit there, charge a projectile, look at this, right? He Absolutely. sits there. Like, he, all he's thinking about is his bonus free. Because what he should have been thinking about is, like, how can I go off stage and try to capitalize on mm -hmm. this, even though he still had his double jumps. But because he was thinking about, like, he wanted to get the certain projectile, maybe he was trying to go for, like, the bell or one of the later items. And because of that, to focus on that, didn't even think about the explosive flame being an yes. option. And what the thing was with that is that if that was on reaction, that was the thing to do. Um, yeah. If that was a guess, um, then he basically gambled, okay, he so just he's going to Let's be real. Like, yeah, like, yeah, I, yeah. I, think, I think Ray, honestly, he had nothing to lose. So just I'm going to throw this out. Yes. So, guys, by the way, some uh, let's go with the over the sits that happened off stream, by the way, because there's sure. one major thing that happened. Milk beat 